happens if you take rock solid Debian or Debian and you add XFCE on it and you plaster a Windows 7 theme on it well you allegedly get to user friendly OS inspired Windows 7 thing called Commander Linux Commander yeah I, I call it Commander Linux uh, which has recently just uh, been released and having taken a look at the topic uh, they even have the option of if you press control or delete you can get a system monitor uh, five clicks to, to do suggested apps and uh, I don't know a lot about this distro it seems to be pretty new-ish uh, correct me if I'm wrong but you know what I think the best way to discover this is to deep dive it so let's uh, take a look so I'm just gonna do a new virtual machine of course uh, come on the next is the ISO um, well it is De Debian based so I'll just say Debian testing gonna give it four gigs of memory four CPUs 50 gigs of storage and uh, yeah, commander Linux and uh, no, I always forget I can't have spaces in the name so I'll just put that together as one okay so here we have live MD64 fail safe start installer advanced install options you know what let's start the installer and uh, take a look at it afterwards okay looks very similar to the Debian installer we looked at recently so let me just make this thing a bit bigger here okay English North America US American English this looks this is the Debian installer with a fresh slap of paint on it very interesting uh, distro uh, I like to take a look at these distros that uh, don't always get mentioned everywhere uh, host name will be commander uh, full name for the new user okay gosh username will be gosh type in a strong password retype that password in detect the disks partition disks guided yes yeah, so we'll use the whole disk there or whole 53 gigs continue we'll finish partitioning and write the changes yes so it's going to create a swap partition and a ext4 and installing straight onto the disk so let me pause and we'll be right back okay so it just literally goes through the installation and without a prompt gets to the end and just reboots and starting up by itself here so that was the install took a couple of moments about five minutes and as I said it just went to reboot and now it's here at the login screen so let's log in a very windowsy background for login screen and okay click here to get a basic overview you know let's look at the introduction okay so that is a, a video that gets installed um, that's a nice little touch there uh, let's say what happens if I look or click on LibreOffice are these links to auto videos uh, yeah LibreOffice have it right uh, 
bottles. Okay, so bottles is not installed. I want to stop the center now. Let me say no. And it's going to give me a video as well. Okay, what's new? Patrons, acknowledgements, uh, dedications. Okay, contacts. Okay, it looks like this could be a district from the Philippines. Let's close this. Take a look here. Uh, audio mixer. Interesting. Definitely has the whole Windows 7 theme thing going on for it. Uh, wait, wait, hang on here. So, notepad. What is. Uh, mouse pad that's so clever that's be nicely themed that's very clever uh, command prompt xfce right of course this will be the xfce stuff uh, this is my computer interesting choice though would have expected more of the uh, microsoft Icons here, at least for folders, at least the colors. It's kind of strange that they've chosen what looks like the old Ubuntu uh, color scheme there. Uh, interesting choice, especially with how everything else they've tried to make it like Windows. Uh, accessories, bottles must be installed. Um, sense of your um, education, LibreOffice. Commodore 64 emulator. Nice. Interesting they've included this by default, but pretty cool. Let's exit the emulator. Interesting choice to add it. Uh, DOSBox emulator installed by default as well. Steam, Tetris. Huh. And it works. Okay, cool. Let's close that. Uh, Internet. Firefox and Chrome. So I open Chrome. And I think Firefox is the one that has like this Internet Explorer theme. Or Internet Explorer theme. Yeah. Okay, multimedia, Audacity, VLC, Gazam, Recorder, Video Taker, Screenshot, Office, because LibreOffice and a PDF viewer. And under System, even VirtualBox, if you want to run virtual machines on it. Interesting. System Monitor, uh, it's using a gig of memory. And ext4 file system. If I click here, I can go no, not disturb. It's got the weather here for this part of the world. So I imagine you can just yeah go into properties and then just adjust that to so we're local. If I right click here, I've got desktop settings. So I can choose the wonderful wallpapers, whatever menus, icons. Um, okay, let's close that. Um, again, the applications launcher here and the interesting uh, video. Okay, so if I want to change this, I can just click on the image, I imagine. No. Ah, go here and just click. Uh, oh, it's not working on mine. Okay, click here for the settings. So I can go change about me. Okay, fine. And I can just select an image from stock. So I'll just make mine. Apply that. Okay, that changes it. Kind of got that Windows 7. Filter it over here. File manager. Appearance, commanders, the style, icons, commander, theme. Okay, so there's no other icons installed by default. Uh, One time scaling. 
right uh, back to the settings here what else do we have uh, Windows Manager tweaks, focus and accessibility, placement, compositor. Okay, so all the pretty standard stuff. The default apps, Chrome's default, browser, Thuna, file manager, XFCE, terminal. So very, very, very uh, interesting type of little just it's definitely something different and they've even got to start with c c home to give you that windows windowsy vibe i i take it okay it's check near fetch here okay so it is mt64 xfce 416 commander theme point of manager So let's go sudo apt update sudo apt update sorry that's two words so it uses bullseye so sudo apt upgrade and yes can upgrade packages that's fine now what is I think I might have missed it how do they install and uninstall software what is their software manager here okay software center let's go shopping ah flat pack okay so this seems to be using flat packs okay makes sense I did this is the more modern way a lot of distros like to do it now of course here change the windows really normal style there okay that's taking a couple of moments so who is this type of distro for well i would imagine for a more staunch windows c user that you want to get them used to using linux but at the same time would a user like that then really be using VirtualBox? Some other more advanced software as well, like DOS emulators and Commodore 64. Um, really a fascinating software choice, honestly. Um, really, really. Uh, let's look at this. Software Center. Software repos. Okay, so let's take a look here. Fast Track, Debian, VirtualBox, Google Chrome, Updates, Authentication, Developer Options. So, okay, let's just try to install a piece of software. So let's say gedit. And, okay, so we can either use install the deb option or the flat hub option. Okay, so I'll just do the flat hub option there because why not yeah I, again I'm very interesting looking distro and they've really tried to make it look quite like uh, Windows 7 um, I guess yeah this could be for basic user if you hide uh, some other stuff like VirtualBox and that um, or a more advanced user that knows that that's what a command center command prompt or terminal is really interesting that they actually call it command prompt and not terminal uh, yeah I just I just find it weird trying to figure out where this just fits in but I so far best in Debian why Debian why not uh, use it and try it yourself um, and yeah respect and kudos to the developers for trying something that looks different um, and yeah, from what I can see, everything seems to be working fine. Not going to spend too much on this. It's basically, it looks like it's standard Debian XFC on top with a couple of uh, introductory videos, uh, which is a nice touch. A couple of interesting choices of software. Um, 
especially from the emulators added by default and yeah and the windows -y theme on that so um no, what i would say is try it for yourself and as always thanks for watching